Now, uh, I will start by um, asking you about the thing that, uh, that, we, that we also uh, encountered here while we were in Britain. And uh, this is the thing that you, while we were here campaigning for the European elections, there was a big scandal in the British Parliament, which kind of um, undermined the, the, how to say, the credibility of the mainstream of three parties in, in the UK. And I would like all of you to say how, how do you think this, this, this will influence the choice of the voters uh, on 4th of June? I take it you're quite happy if we stay sitting down rather than stand up because of the lecturing, aren't you? Um, I'm very concerned that it's going to push people towards the, um, the fringe, um, possibly towards the the fringe of the, the far right, who none of us, I think, can want to see get any votes at all, let alone actually get a, a seat from the UK in the, the European Parliament. And we're told that that is a very real possibility. It could also benefit the UK Independence Party. Um, and if I am polite about the UK Independence Party, I would say that they are a waste of space. Um, that's the politest I can bring myself to, to be about them. I'm, I'm sure um, that the others might put it more forcefully fill them than that. I've been a little comforted, actually, over the, the last few days that the newspapers, I think, are beginning to say to people, don't vote for these, these fringes. They pointed out that actually from the point of view of the UK Independence Party, if you're voting against sleaze, then that is not a very good option, um, given what uh, their members have been like. And I think they've been trying to turn people's attention to the European election and the issues in it. I think they've recognised, or at least some of them have recognised, that the MEPs have already done a great deal to sort out their expenses with a new member statute and a new assistant statute. And to, to vote against one or more of the mainstream political parties just because of the scandal at Westminster um, is not going to be helpful when what people should be thinking about is which party is actually going to, to do the best for their own beliefs, interests and political views in the course of the next five years. That said, a lot of them have still blamed the, the political parties for not campaigning on the, the European issues. Well, I don't know about the other two, but I know my party has tried on getting the press actually to become interested in those, rather than the expenses scandal has been extremely difficult. But on Friday, I was extremely depressed. I'm, I'm a little bit less depressed today, but still very worried about the the outcome because the, the people of the United Kingdom could actually do themselves no favours at all on Thursday, either if they don't vote at all or if they make a protest vote without really knowing what that protest vote is, is going to do. Sorry, I've gone too long, but as you can see, I feel a bit sort of uh, passionate about this one. Well, I agree with Elspeth entirely. I mean, I've been going around campaigning for weeks now and speaking to a lot of people, they are very angry, and justifiably. They're reading every day in all the newspapers, not only the Telegraph, which is the one that exposed this, and it's now on day 25 or something. So it has dominated every single day of the, the campaign so far. And you know, the, the stuff that's coming out, MPs at Westminster using their expenses to clean their moats and you know buy horse manure and stuff like this. I mean it's unbelievable. You couldn't really make it up.